Righto, Taliedo champs. Now today I'm going to be reviewing a laptop that is very special, very unique. In fact, it's one of the hardest laptops I've had to review because it doesn't really have any competitors. I'm talking about MSI Summit E16 Flip Evo A12 MT 023. Yeah. <laughs> We'll just call it the E16 Flip Evo. Basically, what's so special about this laptop is it's a 16-inch 2-in-1 Ultrabook. Now, there's not many 16-inch Ultrabooks, never mind a 2-in-1 Ultrabook, so this thing is very unique. Now, it comes with Intel's latest 12th generation processor, yes, the 1280p. Now, this is an Ultrabook part. It sits in between the U and the H parts and it has great performance. It has the same amount of cores as the 12700H or the 12900H, yet it uses a lot less power. And the performance is like off the charts. When we consider that it is an Ultrabook part, so it's going to go on thin and light laptops, it actually blows away the M2 processor in compute. Not so much in the GPU part, but definitely in compute. Now talking about the GPU, of course it has the Intel XE graphics, and that's good enough to play casual games. I could play GTA 5 on this thing, so don't expect it to play Play, you know AAA titles at the best settings it is integrated graphics after all but more than enough to play casual games and even AAA titles at lower settings with that it comes with an awesome 16 by 10 display 165 hertz 100% sRGB and it supports touch and pen yes you get a pen with this too of course it's a two-in-one it's more than bright enough it's over 350 nits so I'm happy with that 165 hertz makes you know stuff nice and fluid and it is 100% sRGB so so it is color accurate and the pen works well. It works really well. It comes with 16 gigabytes RAM and that's all you can get. Soldered in there, LPDDR5. It has a one terabyte PCI Express 4, NVMe there. And you can upgrade that Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. Only two kilos, right? So this is a 16 inch laptop, two in one, and it's only two kilos. That's around the four pound mark there. Has HDMI, Thunderbolts and USB type A. And the Thunderbolts are Thunderbolt 4. So that's a good thing about this. You can turbocharge it, right? and use all the Thunderbolt docks etc so that's awesome now the battery life is decent 82 watt hour battery I could get around maybe that 7 hour mark so mostly all day battery life but it's not you know the 15 hour battery life that some laptops have but it's more than enough to get by performance as I said before casual gaming 1280p is really good for being an ultrabook and thermals <laughs> I never even seen this get into the 80s so thermals are well controlled it's not loud I actually really do like this laptop very unique I actually want to know is this something you would consider I've always wanted sort of like a big ultrabook and this is one step above that with pen support being a two-in-one as well any criticisms maybe some more options maybe i want a 4k display battery life is decent but there are laptops now that have obviously better battery life and it does come with a 90 watt charger which actually charges pretty fast there's not really that much to pick on and compare it to that's the worst thing i, I don't know what to compare it to so very interesting product let me know what you guys think should msi keep making these things and should other manufacturers get in this you know big ultrabook and even two in ones etc it seems like an underserved sort of niche there. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho. So as you'd expect with this type of display, you know, it's got one backlight, so you're going to get light bleed where, you know, bright areas go into black areas. And that's what LED displays do. But yeah, looks okay so far. We've just got to test the brightness. It's great that it has pen support and touch. Awesome. And if I don't put Spaceman on, people get upset uh yeah remember this flips all the way around it is a two-in-one it's 16 inch 16 by 10 it's just wow i just can't believe this thing actually exists and a lot of people want big 15 16 inch ultrabooks with ultrabook parts in it and this one goes one step further or two maybe 16 by 10 and touch and pen support and the two in one so wolf now if you want to charge the pen it's just usb-c if you want to know that so here's the thing we're going to see how this compares to the m2 that does about 8500 cinebench versus say 7500 with the m1 so this is ultrabook part let's just run cinebench and we'll see how hot it gets and how many watts it uses we are in super cool mode so cooler boost and high performance this is on battery now so it's not plugged in it's on battery uh let's just do it so let's just run cinebench and i'll tell you how many watts it's using here 
All right, running Cinebench, we are using 42 watts on battery, remember. I suspect it can use more when it's plugged in, but that went to 51 watts, we're only 48 degrees, okay? So 38 watts, it's consistent 38 watts now, and we've got 48 degrees, 51 degrees at 38 watts. That's really good. That's like only eight watts more than, say, an M2. Actually, M2 uses slightly more, so it's not that much more power than an M2. 10,800 Wolf. That's what you get with all those cores. Not using that much more power than the M1. Only 38 watts, remember? Remember that the M2 uses more power? Uses more than 30 watts, so not that much of a delta there. You get extra performance. Yes, the Mac uses less power, the M2, but it has a less performance, so yeah. Cool.